Hello students, in this video we'll see how to compute the Laplacian in polar coordinates. From a previous video we know the following relationships. The chain rule tells us that partial f partial x is the cosine of theta partial f partial r minus sine theta over r partial f partial theta, and it tells us that partial f partial y is the sine of theta partial f partial r plus the cosine of theta over r partial f partial theta. And recall that these come from the chain rule, and so let's just recall how we get one of these, and you can see, and you can watch the previous video and then see how to do these yourself. But remember the chain rule says that partial f partial x is partial f partial r. When we do r derivatives, we're treating theta as a constant, times partial r partial x. When we're doing x derivatives, we're treating y as a constant, because x and y are the independent variables on the same level, and r and theta are the independent variables on the same level. And then plus partial f partial theta, treating r as a constant, times partial theta partial x treating y as a constant. Using what tree structure? Using the tree structure that f is a function of r and theta, and r and theta are functions of x and y. So whenever I do an x or y derivative, I treat the other variable as a constant, and whenever I do an r and theta derivative, I treat the other variable as a constant. Now, if I'm, doing, if I'm looking at r as a function of x and y, r as a function of x and y is the square root of x squared plus y squared, so dr dx treating y as a constant is really going to be 2x over the square root of x squared plus y squared, and that is going to be with a 2 down here. The 2's are going to cancel, and you're just going to have an r cosine over r, such so as cosine theta. So that will tell us what the, that r cosine theta over here is correct. And similarly, if theta is equal to the inverse tangent of y over x, treating theta as a function of x and y, then if I do the derivative of theta with respect to x, treating y as a constant, I'll get 1 over 1 plus y over x squared times negative y over x squared, which is negative y, uh, negative y over x squared plus y squared. And that's going to be a negative r sine theta over r squared. So I'll get a negative sine theta over r, and the calculations for the y derivative are analogous. Now if I want to find the Laplacian polar coordinates, I need to find the Laplacian recall is fxx plus fyy. So I need the second x derivative and the second y derivative. Let's do them slowly. So if I want to find fxx, that is the x derivative of the x derivative. Now I know what the x derivative is by this formula. The x derivative by this formula, now we'll use the subscript notation, is cosine of theta fr minus the sine of theta over r times f theta. But we know how to do an x derivative. We can do an x derivative by doing cosine of theta times an r derivative. Cosine of theta times an r derivative. So in other words, this whole expression over here is playing the role of r f, right? So let's call this expression over here star. So I'll do the r derivative of star. And I'm going to do negative sine of theta over r times the theta derivative of star. So let's do this now. So we're going to have a whole bunch of terms. So we'll have the cosine of theta. And then we're going to do the r derivative of this expression. So the r derivative of this expression will be cosine of theta, f r r. Now I've got to do the r derivative of this expression over here. Now there's, a function, there's two functions of r. There's a function of r times a function of r. So it's going to be the first function, negative sine theta over r times the derivative of the second function with respect to r, and then the derivative of the second function, which is going to be a positive sine theta over r squared, positive sine theta over r squared, times f theta. That's going to be the r derivative. And then let's give ourselves a little bit more space. We can clear this out over here. We'll clear this guy out. We have that now. Good. And then we have what? Then we have negative sine theta over r. And we've got to do a theta derivative of star. So let's do a theta derivative of star. Now we have two product rules to do. It's going to be negative sine theta. That's the derivative of cosine fr. And then cosine of theta. And I do an r theta derivative. Then the theta derivative of this thing, so I'm going to have a negative cosine theta over r times f theta. And then the uh, theta derivative of this thing, which is negative sine theta 
over R F theta theta. So a whole bunch of terms comprise the second x derivative. Let's do the same thing for the second y derivative. So by a similar line of reasoning, so this is one thing we're going to have, I have that F y y will be what? It's going to be the sine of theta times what? The sine of theta in R derivative of sine of theta fr plus cosine of theta over r f theta plus cosine theta over r times a theta derivative of this expression, sine of theta fr plus cosine of theta over r f theta. All right, so now let's do it slowly. So I'm going to have a what? I'm going to have a sine of theta over here. I'm going to do an r derivative of this. I'm going to have a sine of theta f r r. Then I've got to do the product rule over here. So I'll have a negative cosine of theta over r squared f theta. And then a plus cosine of theta over r f r theta. I'm being a little bit sloppy with the mixed partial derivatives, but it doesn't matter because f r theta is f theta r. It doesn't matter. Plus cosine of theta over r, then theta derivative, so cosine of theta fr plus sine of theta fr theta, and then minus sine theta over r f theta, and then finally a cosine of theta over r f theta theta. And we have it. So now I have the second, I have the xx derivative and I have the xy derivative. So now let's put it together. So the Laplacian and polar coordinates will be what? So Laplacian of f in polar coordinates, Laplacian of f is fxx plus fyy. Let's group the terms that we have over here. So let's look at the frr term. So here's an frr term, here's an frr term. So I have frr cosine squared, frr sine squared. That just gives me an frr. Beautiful. Let's look at the f theta terms over here. So let's take a look at the f just with a, just one theta. So here's a term with an f theta, and here's a term with an f theta, right? And so both those terms look like what? Cosine sine over r squared. Negative sine theta over r, negative cosine squared over r, so that's another sine theta cosine theta over r squared. So I have a positive, I have two sine cosine over r squared. And then down over here, what do I have for the f theta terms? Down over here are the f theta terms. Well, there's a, oh, that's a negative sine theta cosine theta over r squared and a negative sine theta cosine theta over r squared. So all of these blue terms over here together are equal and opposite, so they all cancel out. That's great. Let's look at the mixed derivative terms next. Let's look at the r theta, there's an r theta term over here, there's an r theta term over here, there's an r theta term over here, and an r theta term over here. So let's see what we're going to get. The r theta terms are going to be negative sine cosine over r, and then what? Over here, negative sine cosine over r. Done over here, what do we get? Positive sine cosine theta over r. Then positive sine cosine theta over r. So all those mixed partial derivative terms are going to cancel as well. Beautiful. So there's no mixed partial derivative terms. Let's look at the coefficient of fr next. The coefficient of fr is going to be what? So let's see. I have a, um, let's look down over here. Where's, uh, where are the frs? Let's take a look. So we've got rid of this and this. There's an fr. So that's cosine squared over r fr. That's the only fr term we have over here. And then over here in this xx derivative, I have a what? I have a positive sine squared over r fr. So I have cosine squared over r plus sine squared over r. That's just 1 over r. So then I'm going to have a 1 over r. FR. And let's see, there's one last term to do. So we've taken care of the R terms. Now there's just the what? Now there's just the theta theta terms. And there's an F theta over here that cancels out too. And that cancels out too. All right. So what are the theta theta terms? Well, there's a theta theta term over here. There's a theta theta term over here. So let's see, and those are the only theta theta terms we see. So we have a what? We have a sine squared over r squared, and we have a cosine squared over r squared. So I have cosine squared plus sine squared over r squared, theta theta. So I'm going to have a what? I'll have a 1 over r squared f theta theta. And we've just found the Laplacian in polar coordinates. Thank you very much.